Hey guys, we're back again. I have a wonderful new guest tonight. Her name is Jeanette Stamen. And Jeanette is a prophetic artist, wife and mother of two beautiful kids in, Oct 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 in Okotoks, Alberta. That's what I love about live. <laughs> There's no like, retakes. <laughs> this is where she took her first painting lesson and met Jesus for the first time through her instructor. Painting is an act of worship for Jeanette. A lot of her paintings are birthed from her intimate times with the Lord, where he reveals himself to her through visuals. It's her heart for to be drawn into the beauty and nature of the creator, and she's honored that she gets to be a vessel of his creativity. I love that, Jeanette. Jeanette teaches some creative workshops, loves to journal what she's hearing from God, and has a desire to see others receive and release God in creative ways. It always it deeply touches Jeanette to see how personal God is and how he ministers to others through her artwork and through the gift of creativity. And that's just a little bit about Jeanette. Welcome, Jeanette. Thank I'm you. So happy to it's good to be here. Thank you. I want to share, Jeanette, how we met. Yes. Um, we were, I, was, I was at the Heaven Come at Imagine Church in Calgary, Alberta, and Zachary was quite young. Was that in January? That was back in... That was... Yeah, I think it was... Yeah. Yeah, I think he was about eight months or something. And so we were, I was standing at the back and for some reason I went over to stand between her and this other power woman of God. I forget her name, but I know she's an uh, intercessor. Peters, little redhead, fiery. Yeah, 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 yeah friend of Peter's. Yeah. And hey, Arlene, you know these people. Yeah. Arlene has her name showing up. Yay, again, it's awesome. Um, so I, Arlene was probably there that night as well. So I never knew Jeanette before. and. I went to stand over beside her and Zachary, who doesn't go to just anybody, he, he threw himself into her arms and he starts talking like nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. And we really felt he was speaking prophetically into Jeanette, like right to her spirit. It was, it was so beautiful, wasn't it, it Jeanette? It was really beautiful. Yeah, it was really beautiful. It really touched my heart, yeah. I've never seen him do something like that. So I thought, this must be some special woman. <laughs> and I didn't know anything about you. And then when we started chatting later, you tell me you're a prophetic artist and you give me your website. So I didn't get a chance to look at it until later. And I was like, whoa, this woman is very, very gifted. So I am honored to have you come on tonight and share. And I'm looking forward to what God has to bring through you and from your story. That's awesome. I'm honored to be here. I mean, it was an honor meeting you, Stacey. I, you were highlighted to me. I think I told you that sometime before at, um, when you released, um, I should know the name of that, you know, for, for the abortion there. When you released. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes. yes. And God highlighted you to me. And mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just thought he even gave me a visual, you know, for that. And it was of a horse breaking through a uh, maple leaf, like a Canadian flag. And I remembered wow. you from, yeah, from that time. But well, that's, See, I received that. See, I've been blessed at the beginning tonight. Hi, Danny, too. And Facebook user writing a plan. I write your name for me so I can pick you out, you guys. So let's start with right at the beginning, you know. You grew up in Saskatchewan. I did. Tell us about what life was like in the prairies as a little girl growing up. Oh, uh, it was, I grew up on a farm. So I grew up on a farm in Rosetown, Saskatchewan, or mm -hmm. outside of Rosetown, Saskatchewan, about 15 minutes outside of, out of, outside of town on this little farm. We were a grain farm. Um, you know, I grew up actually quite, um, sheltered and like sheltered in the sense that we weren't out a lot like mom and dad didn't have us around people a lot of times so it was just like us in the farm if that makes sense mm -hmm. yes. so yeah wow. so did you like animals then did you did you like to we be had, around like i had a dog we had dogs on the farm and i had we had a cat like i had a cat um we called her mama cat and we had there was wild cats in the barn i liked um, there's there's things I liked about being on the farm because you have to use your imagination, right? You have to learn how to play and just we would we would make tree houses, forts in wintertime, like wow. snow forts. Yeah. 
How many siblings were there? Where is it? I there's three of us, and I'm the baby. So my brother, my sister, and me. So Randy Ramond and and me. And we're wow. really close in age. Like so, my brother's only a couple years older than me, and my sister's about 16 months older than me. So wow. well, I have my first three in three years. So I have the yeah, same. Yeah, I know. I felt for my mom because it's like so much all at once for her to have us so young. So yeah, yeah, that sounds really fun. But that's probably you know getting this birth thing as you're out in the field or running around making the tree houses and everything you probably really were seeing so much that you didn't even realize I probably didn't really realize so much back then no but I really loved yeah wow you know creativity was was there with me back back then I, I loved music I used to listen to when I was really young, like even grade four or five. I used to listen to forty fives over and over and over and over again. Wow! And sing. That I'm not a singer. That... I'm not a singer. I would just, I would just sing. She's like, don't ask me to sing, <laughs> sing. <laughs> Later, I'm like, Jeanette, do you think you could sing for us tonight? Yeah. Audra, hello, welcome, Ethel. Um, yes, Audra, we can share her website. Uh, what is the name of the website? Uh, my website is Brushed by the Spirit. So www.brushedbythespirit.com. They already want your website, Jeanette. <laughs> That's how gifted that you are there. Beautiful paintings in the background. I can't wait to talk about some of them. So tell me something fun about your family dynamics. Do you have any fun stories? Uh, about like family growing up or my family right now? Your family growing up. My family growing up well I don't know fun like, <laughs> me and my sister were so close in age uh we 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 fought but we played it's funny mm -hmm. but we fought we fought like a lot we fought a lot but we played too because we only had each other really to play with so and I think yeah. my brother felt left out because it was me and my sister you know we would play outside and then he's like what about me um wow. but we did we fought a lot not so much now not now but yeah, but you know, that happens when people are really close in age. Mm -hmm. I find a lot of siblings that are, you know, my boys are three days apart from a year, but they actually fought a lot when they were little. Right now, it's rare. Like they're really close now. Yeah, we're really, yeah, we're close yeah. now. We don't have, yeah, it was different, but different dynamics <laughs> growing up. We, yeah, my sister, we used to ride the bus together, me and my sister, and we had to sit side by side. And sometimes, and it, you know, this is like, the bus driver would have to stop because we were fighting. He would have to stop the bus and break us up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it wasn't good. Like, yeah, so. Wow, that is funny. I can just picture that. You were known as the bus driver. No, don't let them come on together. <laughs> That's great. I know, and I'm, he's thinking, oh, there's the Morin sisters again. They're fighting. I have to stop the bus and calm them down. Oh. That's so funny. My sister Stephanie's watching with the rest of my family. I don't know who's all with her, but my brother Stuart and his girlfriend Kayla and their kids and my brother Steven and some of my sister's kids are probably all watching. So hi guys. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see you also. I'm just saying hi. Love you. Um, so tell me something that's unique about you that's outside of the art. Outside of the art? Hmm. That is a good question. Well, I love to garden. I love flowers. I love gardening. I love being wow. in the yard. Yeah, I love having my hands in the dirt. Um, I like cooking. So wow. there's creative things. I love, you know, just the aspect of worship and music. I love music. Yeah. You really blessed me when I send you just little snippets off my iPhone. She makes me feel so good because the sound is horrible, but she, she gets yeah. blessed anyway from the Holy Spirit. So I'm like, thank you, Jeanette. Yeah. You're so sweet. And like Arlene, Arlene knows both of us. So that's kind of cool to yeah. have her on here too. I was so, to, sorry, I was just trying to see the chat line, but I still can't see it on here. So I don't know. Yeah, she's got an iPad. So it's hard for, it's hard. I, I've never done it on the iPad. So there's like, people are saying, hello, beautiful ladies. And um, do you know Audra now? Do you know her? She was a teacher at Master's Academy for three of my kids. And then she ended up being a homeschool teacher for my youngest, Charisma. 
That's cool. That's and Arlie, yes, you are special. Oh, I see her, yeah, popping up there. Hi, Arlie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's talk about your lovely man. Uh, how did you guys meet? Uh, we met in Calgary, actually. I, you know, the story is I was this, I came to Calgary when I was about 18 or 19 years old with a few friends and we were um, just partiers. So <laughs> like I, I hung out with, we would call, we would be called the low of the low, I guess is what, you know, and I moved to, and we all just packed our bags. Like we, you know, I took my car down to Calgary. We stayed in Motel Village for a couple months. And I know where uh, that is. And I, I went to private school and I knew a couple people from Outlook that lived in Calgary from private school. And so I would go to their house and play cards, but I met um, my husband now, Robbie there. And cause he lived with wow. the guys that I went, that I knew from Outlook. Um, I never knew when I asked this question. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to ask this question. Like, that is, a, that's a cool story though. How, far you've come look at that you know, it was really like it was really we I was really lost I was really lost at that time and um I hung out with like we you know I was right in the crowd where with the escorts and we would go to you know the bar and drink and get high and then mm -hmm. and that's and that was kind of my life that was that was where I was at at that point and when I met Robbie I have to tell you like even though he was kind of like me too we were both partiers and we both were in that place at that time when I met him, but I, he, I just, there was something about him that I just felt safe with him. Mm -hmm. mm. That's amazing at so young and in that type of crowd, that's an encouragement to some people. Yeah. <laughs> you never know who, who needs to hear that, but you know, you look, you saw something yeah. in him and he saw something in you. So did you guys start dating at that time? Well, we, you know, we were kind of friends for a bit and um, I actually, I asked him if I could move into his place. I know this seems kind of funny because the two girls I was, I was living with, it just, things were kind of, they were falling out, they just wasn't working for me. Um, and so he said, yeah, sure, you can come and live with me. And then we just ended up, it wasn't actually even like he said, do you want to go out with me? We just ended up staying together, if that makes sense. Wow. And then it was just continual? It just yes. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That that's a, that's an incredible it did. story. It did. Yeah. Wow. That that's that's very unusual. That's actually a testimony in itself. How yeah. you wow, that's that's incredible. Like I honor you guys. Is that's and that's an encouragement to young people who you know, maybe going through that time of their life and around crowds of, you know, young people that are also, but within there, the heart of a person that is special and brings lots of love still, right? Sometimes we judge, sometimes we judge. That's very good. I'm, I'm so thankful I asked that question and that you shared that. Yeah, it's really good because even now, like, me and Rob will, will laugh about how we met and how we got together and just what God's done in our life. It's, wow. yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Well, you guys are probably both kind of edgy and like to have fun uh, still in other ways, right? Yeah, like, yeah in different you know, ways yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah adventurous. Because you have, you have that side of your nature that has to have fun, right? So you just well, that's, the, that's like, you know, I think the, the partier in me, now I just like to party with Jesus, right? So the worship and the music and the, yeah. It's still part of me, if that makes sense. I love it. So Wow, yeah, you really, what you've shared with me, you go really deep with that. And I can't wait for you to share more about mm -hmm. that even later. Roseanne's on here. Kayla, uh -huh. thanks for saying hi. She said, yes, Robbie makes us all feel safe. I got to put that, I got to put that up on the screen. So then. Oh, uh, I love that. <laughs> yes, yeah, he is. He's got that. He's. I met him, I met him very briefly, but I would not recognize him. If in a crowd, because he yeah. was just so calmly there beside you. So I, I'll have to like say, oh, who's Robbie? <laughs> so I can see when I go to church. 
Well, that I love that you shared that. I like it actually ministers to very. It's such a hope. Yeah. Such a story. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah, like I like God took me through lots of darkness. So it's amazing yeah. where we were and now where we are now. Is, yeah. Did you want to share about? Um, you mentioned to me that you guys had a renewing of your vows. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, well, it was neat. Yeah, it was neat. Just I, about 10 years ago, actually. Uh, and I became a Christian first, like I met Jesus first. And then Robbie came in after. And then I just really felt like God wanted me to, like I felt to renew my wedding vows because our marriage was a double wedding. Our first marriage was a double wedding. And um, I got married with my sister and it was just by chance. My mom said, you know, your sister's getting married. Why don't you join in? And, you know, I don't have to pay for another person. And so it was like, we joined in on someone else's marriage. I already had my daughter at the time. So she was just a little baby. Um, and we said, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll get married. We'll do the double wedding, but it wasn't the wedding that um, it wasn't the wedding. Like it wasn't, it just wasn't a great wedding. It wasn't a great wedding experience. And so I felt like God wanted me to renew our wedding vows. So I asked Rob and he, he was like, sure, let's do that. And, and I got to pick my dress and, uh -huh. and we had an intimate ceremony in the Peter's backyard. They, they married us actually. Uh -huh. Wow. And we got to actually commit ourselves to God because we never did that in the, in our first, the mm -hmm. first time. It was just more like, oh, yeah, we're getting married and let's go party. And I don't even think I saw my husband the night of, after we got married because that was just, you know. I've seen that happen at weddings. <laughs> it does happen. It happens, yeah. So the wedding renewal was such a, it was such a redo and God's presence was so beautiful there. Like, like I just felt um, angelic presence and I got to walk around my husband, husband like seven times. I felt like God wanted me to walk around him seven times. And so there was like this circle. And so in my wedding dress, I just walked around him seven times. Mm -hmm. And Rob didn't actually, at that point, didn't even know what he was going to say to me when we were going to just do our vows um with each other right there on the spot and god just downloaded song of solomon's to him and he started speak he started uh speaking that over me during our vows and we're all weeping <laughs> wow i wish i could have been there were some of you ladies there <laughs> were some of was rosanna or arlene there no but it was so it was so beautiful it, like for me that is one of the most amazing redemptive moments mm -hmm. that god just stepped in and and I felt like I was in such a bubble, like it's hard to explain, but I just felt I was so bubbled by his presence when we renewed our wedding vows. Like it was so beautiful. It's hard to explain, but it, it was just awesome. It would be beautiful to see that painted a moment. Well, I of have, you know, it's funny because oh. I, I have this. <laughs> yeah, just wait. Yeah. It goes back. I'm going to take it out of its plastic. Yeah. Probably you should ask. <laughs> Yeah, I have it right here, actually. <laughs> so this is, and the painting of this actually, I don't know if you can see it. The painting of this was really big, but I painted this before we renewed our, like before we renewed our wedding, like our vows with each other. Um, and this was kind of a prophetic picture because, you know, I just painted the husband, you know, holding me with strength. And I have the roses, like it's beautiful. The seven roses to me means completeness. And we're coming together as one in the field of promise. I've, I've got the the wheat field, which is, you know, the harvest, like in the harvest field. So this to me, it was just a beautiful painting. And I think it was maybe about a year after we renewed our wedding vows. And this, I got to actually put this picture um, on everyone's table because and it was just a fulfillment of just who he is his goodness in our life wow that's what someone's saying it's like uh so hard when i can't see people's names and i can't seem to get into my 
Facebook uh, group to see the names, but some, someone saying, wow, that's so beautiful and creative of the Holy Spirit, your painting. That is, that is like breathtaking. Yeah, like, that actual painting, the original that I did was really, 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 really big. And actually somebody bought that, um, a dad bought that for his daughter who was getting married. And so it was a wedding gift. So it's really neat how God used it um, in someone else's wedding, like in someone else's, you know, his, his daughter getting married and he used the same blessing that, like that painting to bless them coming together as one and yeah. Wow, that is profound. Like I, I, I know there's so much more to the story. Like you guys, we just celebrate your marriage and the renewing of your vows. Wow. I, I'm just so moved by that because it's, it's such a beautiful thing. Like how many years have you been together when you? Um, we have been together for 24 years. Wow. Wow. I've been 27. But that is so yeah. precious. I feel like there's just, I just feel like there's a moment of like, God, we just thank you for weddings and we thank you for renewing a vow. Yeah. Thank you for your love and your Holy Spirit yeah. in marriages. Yeah. And I just, I just felt that we need to pray over relationships yeah. and, and people that have walked through the pain and the journey yeah. of discovering who they are. And you're a representation. You have authority in this. So I just wanted to just pray releasing from you more of your story being told, like even more depths of this story uh, being told because there's so many people out there that don't know how to relate or to break through or to. Well, it's hard. It's hard because when you, when you're walking through stuff and like, even with me and Robbie, you know, I was the one that was full on went to, you know, um, gave my life to Christ. I was going to church before he came to church and then he just kind of came into church. Um, and you know and there was and it wasn't always easy right we we had some difficulties to walk through and some hard places to walk through but i really felt like god in my life just always brought it back to love like to unconditionally love my husband and to be that safe place for him where he was at um and let him grow and don't don't force it don't push it don't you know wow and so i began to just nurture that in our household and I truly believe like he just began to feel safe with me and it wasn't ever, you know, and he felt like, hmm, I kind of love her. I like her God. I love her God too, because, because she loves me and I feel her loving me. Like, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like I, 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 I didn't intend to go as deep into this, but I feel like it's important for yeah. you know, whoever may be listening now or later. Uh, it's, it's a very um, profound thing to take a relationship and open up and be vulnerable and to say, hey, this is where we came from. This is where yeah. we come from. This is where we are right now. You know, some people are in real deep pain. And yeah, and you know, when I was, in, I was in pain myself and I know Rob was in pain. We were like, when we, when our, like when we were first married, first, like the beginning of our marriage was quite broken, right? So, um, but it's like God has walked us through um, so much and so much healing. So it's really, really good. Uh, again, you know, I, the love of God, like his love coming in and just being, being able to love, to love. And then he begins to love, you know, love me back. And, um, and it's beautiful. What we do sometimes now is when he leaves to go to work, or we always give each other a word. It's just like one little word, like from God, mm -hmm. like this is from God. And we've been doing this for years. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good he, tip. It's so good, but but also he's so good because if I if I need prayer mm -hmm. and I say, Rob, can you just pray for me, honey? Like, and this is, God's really worked, you know, it's amazing um, just seeing your husband rise up to be who God created him to be. But if he puts his hand on me and he starts praying, I feel such uh, wow. You know, you always like to feel covered and just feel so like the words when when he's getting them from God and just speaking them over you. To me, that is like the best thing ever. Yeah. Wow, I'm profoundly moved. <laughs> wow, and God speaking to me for my marriage. You know, I 
I met a woman yesterday that her been married 35 years and her yeah. husband left. Left, he left. I always find that I always find that so so hard. Like, and it happens, right? Because hard hearts get hardened, and and you don't know how to. Yeah, you know, have God come in and yeah, things happen and it's always hard. He started pulling away like 11 years ago, but she didn't realize. She didn't yeah. even see it coming. And she didn't see it. What it hit me is how we, I remember when I was a young girl, I'd read marriage books and it'd be like in, in um, indifference would impact people, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like it would kill marriages. So God would just say, you have to pay attention to the person who's right in front of you yeah. and your husband, to your children, if you're not married to the people that God's placed in your life, because we can become too comfortable with what we think they, they are, or we put them into a box and say, this is who you are. Yeah. And I've done that. Yeah. I've done yeah. that with my husband because, and he thinks he's so different than I am. Like just the way his personality is so different than my personality, which is in a way, it's so good. Like I, I'm so blessed that we're so opposite. Rob is bold and he's strong. Like he's black and white, he's bold and he's strong. Right. And I'm really gentle. I'm sweet. You know, so sometimes we just were opposite in the way we think. And God has corrected me in just how I perceived my husband along the way too. And it's like, no, I built him like that. He's, he's bold. He is like, he's like a fire starter. He's there's, there's things in Rob that I will never be like, my husband but mm -hmm. I can see like when I begin to get God's heart I can kind of see how God sees my husband and it's that's a good thing to how do you see my husband and yeah I'm going to be okay with that well I'm being encouraged yesterday and today I need to like look and say God show me how to love even more how to how to show your love and he'll yeah. show he'll show me I know he'll show me because when you ask, everybody's been telling me lately, just ask, just ask, you know, like, listen, and God will tell you. So may that be encouragement to any of you. Yeah. Listening. God, God will speak to you. He will show you. Yes. Arlene's saying he heals the broken hearted, binding up. Yeah, the yes. wow. I, I didn't mean to go so deep before we talked about your painting, but God. Okay. It there. <laughs> so here we are. Um, I, Thank you for sharing that. That that was precious. I can't wait to hear more. You had an encounter with Jesus through art. So what I want to ask is, we'd love to hear that story. Um, did you not start painting till you were an adult? Yeah, yeah. Actually, when my when I lived in Capel, um, me and my husband lived in Capel, a really small town, just outside of Regina. And my kids were small, like my son was just a baby and my daughter was a couple years old. And I didn't know God at that time. Um, and I, I had everything, it was, it was so, I, like, I just, it was, I was in such darkness. And so I cried out to God, okay, I know the devil's real. So if he's real, God, you must be real. And if you're real, you need to show yourself to me because what I'm living in is like a living hell. Mm. And, um, and when I, when I said that, I was pretty angry when I said that to God, like, it was just like, a, I'm crying out to God. Um, but I know if he's real, you're real, you know, to, like, I just made sense to me to kind of cry out to him. Yeah. And then, and then within a couple of days, I actually heard God say, Jeanette, you need to draw. And I, I didn't know any believers at the time. I didn't know any believers. And I had this loud thought and it kept, it wouldn't go away. Jeanette, you need to draw, like you need to draw. And so I bought myself some pencils and some what? paper. <laughs> yeah, and I just started sketching and it was just random pencil sketches and they weren't really, they weren't lovely at that time because that's where I was at. Um, but it was a release for me and I heard him speak to me and I knew he was real. Even though I, I hadn't yet met Jesus, like it's kind of interesting, but I, I knew God you're there for me and then shortly after that he just kind of we moved a few times we moved to to Coppell, and it was like he kept moving me near christians after i had cried out to him wow. like you need to show yourself that you're real um and then i saw an art lesson like a class in the paper it said you can paint this mountain scene 
it was a beautiful brown mountain scene and I was just sketching at the time with pencils so I'm like oh I'd like to use color I'd like to paint that mountain scene and I asked my husband do you think I can take this class this oil painting class he's like sure go for it and so I go into her studio and but she she was a pastor's wife um her name was Coralie Orit <laughs> and uh she had an outreach um studio where she where she, it was kind of like an outreach studio where she would just teach people all kinds like kids adults and so I'm in her class and you know there's there's Christian worship music going on I wasn't sure what I was listening to at first I'm like this is interesting and <laughs> And one day she asked me, do you want to, do you want to come and do some watercolor with the kids? I have a watercolor class because I was doing adult painting classes with her. And there's probably about eight of us adults learning how to paint the mountain scene. But she said, why don't you try watercolor too? And why don't you come, you know, and have fun with us? And I said, sure. So I come to the studio. She's got this big table set up. <laughs> Nobody showed up. I was the only one that showed up. Wow. So we had this one-on-one -on -one time together and it's like um it was a total divine appointment and we're set up. <laughs> and i was and you know what i had so much weight on me like so so much burden and so much weight and so much like just the stuff i walked through right i i was carrying so much stuff and she's <laughs> like tell me about your life and all of a sudden oh. i just i just broke down and i just ah, you know and i i'm sure i told her like all kinds of like all the hard stuff I was walking through and where I was at, what I was dealing with. And then she's like, Oh, you need Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to, can, can I say a prayer with you? And I'm like, sure. I'll take your Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. And then she invited me to go to church. Pardon? She invited me to go to church right after. So. Wow. So were you in your twenties then? I was about 28, 29. Wow. Yeah. That, that is incredible how God brought you to that studio that this lady would obey God and teach as a ministry. Yeah, that was as, her ministry. Yeah. Wow. And that you would find that you would even hear to draw and to think you want to do color. And then you see this ad of all things like did you even read the newspaper back then like where did you see this I, ad? but i think it was like on the like and it's funny because i never really did read the paper i don't even but i picked up that paper and there was a big there was a brown mountain scene standing there and, and studio classes you can do this in three months and i'm like i don't i just have to take this painting class so. wow so god was already showing you prophetic yeah uh, so you know when I started she taught me so I, I learned a lot of skill from her actually like learned a lot of painting skills from her um, and during the time of painting with her I would start doing my own painting and there was one painting I did and it was of an abandoned building it was kind of right at the beginning it was this old building and God showed it to me in a dream yeah. and so I knew he was speaking to me and he said and in like so he showed the painting of the old building on a book and it said restoration this is God's love story. Wow. And hold on to that painting. Like, just keep it for now because it means something. And I didn't realize what that's. And then he's like, you're that building. <laughs> so and I came to restore and bring restoration to your life. And wow. so I've kept, like, I have the print of that painting, but that was the first one he goes, but I'm, I'm speaking to you through what you create. Wow. Wow, Jeanette. So when you were painting then, how did you come to prophetically painting because there's something different about that as well right yeah well i just knew that he was kind of like you know as a, and it was funny because i wasn't even when i first started prophetically painting and this could be for some artists out there as well mm -hmm. there are people who who paint prophetically but they don't know they're actually painting prophetically mm -hmm. but they're painting his heart because he's trying to, because he always is trying to reveal his heart to us and mm -hmm. his nature. And so when I, my first few paintings, I didn't even actually know I was painting prophetically, but he would lead me into who he was, like a faucet of who he was, of his nature. So I painted this river, like living waters. And um, 
he actually, I didn't know why I was painting it, the prophetic part. Um, and then he drew me into, this is, I am the living waters and you need to come and drink from me and my water will flow through you. And so it's the water, living waters, the waters of life. But I didn't realize it at the time. So, and now it's different because now I've grown and when I worship him, I see, um, I see at that time, I wasn't really seeing images like pictures, visions, but now I see visions. So when I worship, I have like a log of pictures flowing through my, my mind. So, and they all mean something. They, they carry his nature. So. Do you jot them down when you see the pictures? I do. I journal. I always journal what I'm, what he's showing me. I try to yeah. spend a little bit of time with him in the morning, just, you know, a little bit of worship. I journal what I see. And then I also journal what I hear. And it always is, it kind of highlights what the day's going to be like and kind of what he, his nature, what he wants me to kind of walk in and walk out. So if he highlights pictures where, you know, I'm seeing joy or he's highlighting joy, um, I know I probably will need that for the day. Yeah. Yeah. And does he tell you sometimes like this painting is for this person? Like, do you sometimes get that? Sometimes right. I get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And well, especially Especially if I asked to, but yeah. Well, let's see some of these paintings. I see some beautiful ones behind you, but I think you picked up some pieces that you want to share. I did. They... You know, I really, I felt a couple, like one that he highlighted. I don't know if you can see, but I actually have it. I have her here too, but she is at the well, the girl at the well. I'll just show you this. But it's this one and it's just it's just a it's just a girl and she's you know she's got her little rain jug and she's she's receiving i always to me this one is she's receiving from his well and how important it is to know how to be good receivers so that we can walk out life right because sometimes it's easy to you know be anxious and to feel you know certain things but as we're able to receive from him, we can fill up on what we need of his nature. So I love that she's she's just at the well receiving from his heart. And so, you know, receiving peace, receiving, you know, joy, just receiving from, from him. Because I think we, we need to be great receivers. And then that can flow out of us with whatever we do, right? Um, I'm just gonna remove myself. Oh yeah, let's see if you can. I'm ducking, <laughs> but it's that one right there. But yeah, so the woman at the well, the overflowing. So, and we can overflow with his goodness. Like I think a, a scripture I had for that one is, I'm just gonna pull it out here. I said his well never runs dry. So we can always overflow with his goodness. Um, even in valleys, like in our deep, in deep times and dark times, we can receive from him, um, from his well. I know Psalm 23, 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Um, Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, but just to overflow with the goodness of who he is in our day to day, but to be able to be good receivers so that we can do that. So we can go out and, and share his peace, share his love, and be that. And then I also have my um, creating with Abba up there which is my newer one. I have to move my head again. Sorry, guys, but I don't know if you see her. It's the girl with a paintbrush and the stars in the sky. And I really felt like, because we partner with him in creativity, um, and for me, it's painting, but to just partner with the one who, who created everything and what, what he created was good. Um, and so to enjoy his creativity and and he's so creative, like he's so limitless with creativity. He, he just, for me, it's just like, 
Um, he's just so vast, and so that's why I wanted to paint the stars. Um, and he's so big, so I get to partner with my Abba and create wonderful pictures that reveal his nature. So I think with the art, there's so many different faucets of just his nature and who he is that touch people. So, and I also have my woman who's sinking down in the red. Um, it's your love so deep. Uh, and that's just, I really felt like he wanted me to share that one and she's holding on to her heart. Um, and it's just like, for me, it's been a walk of knowing how loved I am and how much he loves me. Um, just a journey of, of him making up the love deficit in my life and he's been so good, so. Are you still there, Stacy? <laughs> I didn't know if you can hear me when I leave, eh? Oh, I can't no, I, can. I didn't hear oh, you at okay. all. Were you speaking? I'm like, yeah, but you did a great job without hearing me. Um, did you explain the one with Jesus above you? Well, and that is just the closeness to me. It's like, okay, let's dance. Like, I'm leaning in to hear his heart. And I want to just move with him and uh, feel his heartbeat and, you know, feel his heart for others and, and do that dance, right? Sometimes we just need to do the dance. We need to know that he's really close um, and that he just wants to be with us and walk with us. He never leaves us. And so I love um, just the closeness of who he is um, for his bride and how close he wants to be with us and that he just wants us to move with him. Can you read the comment I put up there? Audra says, what powerful images. She shares your passion for painting God's pictures. Yeah, and I love it. That's beautiful. Did you explain the little girl up there? That one? No, I didn't. So this is Eyes of Wonder. Um, and I do actually have something to kind of read for her, but it's looking through Eyes of Wonder, like childlike faith and Eyes of Wonder. Um, and often he reminds me of this to be like a child and and then you see, right? He, he gets to show me wonderful things. And you know, even sometimes when life is hard, it's so good to, to have eyes of wonder and eyes of faith, to see things the way he sees things. Um, I remember when I painted this painting, um, you know, and it was just a tough, it's, it was a tough season, it was hard. And I remember he gave me a picture in the morning and it was, and the, it was of gulls in a girl's eyes. And I had painted her but when I, and then he reminded me of that too, the gulls in the girl's eyes. And I went down to the river that one day and it's like these gulls were above the river, these birds, and they were, they were doing a beautiful dance and they were, they were flying over my head. And, and it was such a beautiful thing. And God was like, I just, I did that for you. You know, so I like how he does that for us. But I also have um, just a little write up for this one that I wanted to share and it's, my road is a wonderful road full of surprises, full of peace, full of joy, full of the wonder of God. My wonder is all around you. I'm a wonderful God. There is no other like me, no other. This is a journey, a journey in discovering the heart of God, discovering my heart for you and for others. My heart is full of love for you, full of life, full of adventure. Let's venture together, you and me together forever, discovering, discovering more of me in you. I am the great I am. I am the great I am I am. Today is a beautiful day. Let's be on a venture. I love it. And you explained, you explained the little girl with the, that's the one you were, oh, because I was looking on the other side. That's why I was confused. The there, eyes of wonder. Do you, do you see that one kind of above my head? Yeah. Yeah. But the one you explained before with the little girl painting. I, that's what I didn't see. Oh, her. yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, wow. With my Abba. Yeah. Wow. They're, they are so beautiful and they all have different emotions and feelings. You can just really, she has the little girl with wonder has your eyes. <laughs> that one that yeah, one. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. You can see your eyes. That's what for me, anyway. Mm -hmm. that. So, um, what else? Do you have anything else you want to share with with your art there? Um, is there? 
No, I think that's it. Like, um, you know, there's, those were some of the ones that he highlighted to me, just the creativity thing, creating with my ABBA, partnering with him to be, be creative and to receive from him. And then to be able to, to release that so other, be, other people can be touched. And Well, how did you come up with the name Brushed by the Spirit? My husband did. <laughs> Wow. And I, I don't even know, I can't even remember exactly how he did it, but it's like, but he came up with actually, we were, I was thinking about names for myself and he's like, brushed, brushed by the spirit. And he actually came up with the name. Yeah. I, I really like, like that name. That's an awesome name. Yeah. I like your lion painting. Do you have any right there or no? Which? Your lion. My which one? Yeah. The lion painting. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lion painting. I have a lion painting right here. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. He, what um, is that one? This one is just, I call this one royalty. And when I painted this, this was earlier on in my journey. Um, and he was showing me who he was as the lion of the tribe of Judah and just uh, that he was powerful and that, that um, his, like he was a wall of fire around me, just protecting me because I was coming out of so much fear in, at the, in the beginning of my walk. Um, he just freed me from so much fear and stuff. And so, but also that he, that I belong to a royal family and that I was a royal daughter. And, and this was the beginning of me just knowing him as the lion of the tribe of Judah, that he is powerful and he's the fire around me and the glory, he's the glory within me. So. Wow. That like that, that's what that's what Shantu said. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that one, and I really needed that because earlier on in my walk, like there was so like so much fear, like I had to overcome so much. And so when he was showing me that I am a wall of fire around you and I'm the glory within you, um, and that I'm just I'm so big, Jeanette, because the enemy was so big in my life when I was, you know, through the younger years, but he's so much bigger, right? So it was a good painting to paint. Well, like that's a question I had written here. You have overcome shyness, which is powerful, and that you found you have a voice. And I think it would be, you know, a lot of people are sharing how they're finding their voice and your painting is a part of your voice, but would you wanna share a little bit about how God has revealed that to you, walked you through? Well, yeah, you know, I was extremely shy as a child and, um, I always, always hated being the center of attention. So even when, you know, I became a part of this little ministry group, it was, Brenda Peters actually facilitated it. And we, we would worship. It was the first, first time of me really experiencing worship and just the power of Holy Spirit moving. Um, but I remember we, she used to have a time where everyone could, go, you go around and share what you were experiencing or what you're feeling or what God was showing you. And I remember hated, I hated being on the hot seat. I thought, Oh, it's going to come to me. I'm going to have to, I'm, do I need to share something? I don't really feel like sharing something, but I always, I hated the moment of being um, with when, when the intention, when people are staring at you, I just, there is something about that. Like it was probably, like I said, one of my greatest fears, like lack of confidence. Um, but it's something that God has that I'm overcoming. I'm still overcoming it. So. No, but it, it's really nice how God has, released your voice through art. Yeah. It's really and good. gardening, gardening, yeah. and cooking, and bringing healing. You've probably received a lot of healing as you paint. I do, yeah, I do receive a lot of healing and a lot of revelation, right, of just who he is. Mm -hmm. Like he's always drawing me into greater revelation of just um, who he is, like, you know, um, through pictures and through images, because I really learned from seeing, like seeing him, like seeing the vision, seeing him high and lifted up, like I see him, you know, and it makes me get to know him better, right? So. This is Kim uh, Dreger. Oh, you know. Kim. I love Kim. <laughs> yes, your art, your heart. I finally came to my Facebook and found it, guys, so yay. <laughs> I, I, I can't see some people's names and I, it drives me like crazy not to see. So um, I want to ask you as well, um, 
just to share before, like we have like 10 minutes before uh, we will pray for other people. Yeah. And I've really, I've been really blessed to get to know you better, Jeanette. And met you twice in person, I think, or three times briefly. And we share an email. And I was blown away by how much you wrote me. You know, I didn't even open that up today. But if I open it up, it'll probably make me cry. But what God gave you to say to me, I just want to honor that. Like, you have a gift of words as well as, you know, the artistry in, in painting. And so I just wanted to honor you in that because I, at the time, I was in such a low place. And you really blessed me and spoke life to my spirit. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah. And that's why I love to do these interviews because I get to share treasures of people that God's dropped into my life. And I get to share it with more of you so you can connect and, and you know, pe people be made aware of like, you know, you some of you never knew Jeanette existed in this city and look right. at this art and she does um workshops i don't know if you're doing them right now online at all but i do have some ideas for a couple of workshops coming up yeah. i just haven't you know um during the covid it, it's just like i i went into more um time with him and actually it was a, a time of deeper healing with him as well i took a teresa devon course and wow god highlighted some stuff to me and just it was yeah it took me into a little deeper healing and it was beautiful, but so and needed. <laughs> so if somebody wants to take one of your workshops, what would you do in the workshop? You would share, like, to open up for them, something within them? Well, you know, they're all, they've all been kind of different. I've done some different things. I am trying to lean in to get sort of some ideas, some new ideas for him. And, you know, I have an idea of doing, like, painted on, painted fabric, painted T-shirts, um, but I always like to take some time to let's hear from God. What is he saying to you? Um, for this, this idea I have for a workshop I have for painting flowers on t-shirts. I feel like we're all a flower in God's garden. Um, but, and if we were to take time to hear what flower, um, would we be to him and just take the time to journal some thoughts and it doesn't necessarily have to go into a painting, but, and then you get to paint your flower on a t-shirt of the flower that he said you were in his garden. So just I, I like, like that, but every, any anything that they do, I do like to take a little bit of time um, where, you know, we're centering on him and hearing from him and building communication with him. So if people want to hear more when you have something, they should go to your website. And yeah. is there a place to sign up for updates or is there anything no, there? Well, actually, there is a subscribe page. And it's funny, like my some things are working. There's still some things on my website that I have to figure out. They're not working quite, quite right. But you can subscribe to my email list. I haven't been really great at sending out emails right now, but but at least if you do have... a workshop. If I do a workshop and I have your email, I do send it out too. Yeah. And you have a Facebook page, right? I do have it. It's Brushed by the Spirit, and I'm on Instagram too. Brushed by the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to add to the Facebook group Brushed by the Spirit, that would probably be really a good idea too, since she's not sending emails out as often. Um, I know it's something I it's one of those things I should be doing that. Yeah, I know. We all live it. We all live it. You know, I'm I'm praying through that as well. So when we're uh our last few minutes here before we start to minister to others, um is there anything else that God's put on your heart that you would like to share for the ladies and the men who are on here? There's men who come on from the uh, page. <laughs> well, you know, I just, I would just bless people um, with their journeys with God, with that intimate place with them, you know, through creativity or how God speaks to them because we're all so wired differently, right? Art is my, is just an avenue of how he communicates to me and speaks to me, but there's so many different ways that God speaks to us, you know, through song and through dance and through, you know, the list goes on, it's limitless. So creativity is so vast and so limitless. So, and I just also want to bless people with everything that I've shared tonight, you know, with the marriages, um, 
with um, God's love flowing through marriages for being that safe place and that um, God is into restoration and he writes the best love stories. And so I just pray hope over marriages and life and love um, and unity, you know, in the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's really good, Jeanette. I thank you so much for sharing your precious with us. And I'm excited to see what God brings through these workshops. And Kim said that you taught her to paint from her heart. She's forever grateful. Yeah, you know, I had a, a small little gathering and that was a few years back in my studio when it was in the basement and people would just come and I really wanted them to paint what God had already put on their hearts. And I love that season. And I love that time because I got to see um, God's creativity come forth through each person that came into the studio. And it was always so beautiful because I love the way God speaks to people. And mm -hmm. I always receive, like, I always receive from people. So I was blessed by, um, and all I had to do was facilitate that. And I just got to watch people create. It was so, it was so nice. It was awesome. I love Kim's creativity. Yeah, I, I can't, now I want to see Kim. <laughs> now I want to see. I, I actually went to a lady's house yesterday. Uh, you might know Fiora um, Myers. And she... Yeah, she had some women get together and she brought Colleen Punter, who's another artist in. And uh, I don't really want to, you know, paint or, you know, I do music, as you know, like I'm artistic. I, creative. I'm artistic, Stephanie, I admit it. But it's not something I love to do to sit down and like, when I look at that, yeah. painting, Jesus, you know, it's like you bring even the emotion out. I feel that in music. But she stretched us. And she walked us through step by step to even write her name. And then all of a sudden, God gave me a word through this process, emerge. I love and it. I, I wept from a painting that was highlighted to me um, that she had painted. And it spoke to me so deeply. And it was emerging out of a forest, like coming into life and there were there was water pooling underneath this it was just a white like wisp of a thing it didn't, you didn't even know if it was a person but it, to me it was me okay it I was love it. yeah and and there was water on the ground i didn't even see that pool underneath but there were crevices in the grass i'm gonna cry and the water was going out into all these different places so many i didn't even think to count there were so many and the grass was really green and the forest was behind. And God said, those are your tears oh. that have flowed yeah. and they're going to flow out into streams of life. Living, yeah, life. To give to others. And I didn't realize how deeply, you know, even when we look at your paintings, just we just look at them. She, she was making us go deeper. Yeah. So what, what more do you see, right? Yeah. And, and so she asked us at the end to make our word in some creative way. And so I made this big, I had to put on black um, background, but I chose orange, yellow, and green colors I hate. <laughs> like literally, they grate on my nerves. Like I don't like Smarties that color. I don't like candies that color. And God said for you to emerge, and I feel this is for you guys too. Like I love it. For you to emerge, you've got to face the things you don't like. That is true that we have to overcome yes. fears and overcome things, right? Overcome the fear of man, overcome the fear of what people might think of you. Exactly. Yeah. It's hanging on my wall upstairs for fun. It's <laughs> it says emerge in big letters and the E is all over the first E. The next one's a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, right? And I feel like my friend uh, Melody said, it's like you're coming up out of water. And being birthed, and I feel that for all of us guys. Yeah, that's why I'm sharing this before we pray because we're emerging from this into that forward. I am so, I'm so in agreement with that. I feel some of the words that God has just kind of spoken over my life in this season too is just that is that you know He wants to launch some things and birth things. Right. So I am so gorgeous. 
um, yeah, to emerge and to release those things that he's given to us through intimacy and through being with him and knowing him and through our testimonies, through the things that we've had to walk through, right? Um, so that we can be blessings to other people. So true. And, you know, people, we, we think we spent time with Jesus. You know, we, we pray quick, we're busy, you know, and I'm, I'm being really impacted and inspired lately to really look at how much time I'm taking just to be in intimacy, you know, whatever that looks like and worshiping even. And, you know, I get so busy and I feel, I just want to encourage for me as well as for you guys, like, let's stop. And like COVID was a blessing in the sense that people stopped. Yeah. And they were like, whoa, is this really what I want to do with my life? People have changed careers. People yeah. Yeah. left jobs because they were released. People have started homeschooling. It's a new emerging. And I'm 51 and I want to walk in the identity of what God's called me to. And I believe that for you as well, Jeanette. That's what you feel like. That's that. yeah. yeah. You know, and that our, our later half would be greater than our, you know, our, than our former right that um you know it, it would just be greater like yeah. greater he's yeah. good and he makes up time and he's so beautiful like yes. um and it's just intimacy to me is like the biggest um it's the best thing right to get to know who he is and to be close to him and to hear his heart and it's how i've grown to love people i always try to and he's growing me in love i feel like a season of uh two where it's just like you know um, and I have it in a painting. I don't know if she's here right now, but she's holding, it's a, this little girl and she's holding red roses mm. and she's holding this bouquet of red roses. And I feel like it's like she's holding on to his love, regardless mm. of circumstances or sometimes regardless of how people treat you or regardless of, um, mm. can you, Jeanette, uh, wow. love people? Can you not um, get offended? Can you, like, do you know what I mean? Can you be, can you... Can you release love in the coldest of situations? <laughs> like, oh, wow. can you can you be loved, right? So, it's a journey. Like, it's and it's sometimes it's not easy. This is from my friend yesterday. She dropped by. I wasn't home, and I got all the flowers and I got a journal given to me yesterday. And I haven't written in a journal for twenty one years. Those are beautiful. Those flowers. and flowers on the journal. I don't know if you can see, but I see that. Yeah, I would not normally pick out multicolored flowers. This came out of her garden. Okay, see, that's my kind of picture. I love, I love flowers. And the journal is full of flowers, and God is saying, embrace more. Like I, I've stayed out of the garden. I don't know why. Like you garden, so whatever oh, you're, God. yes, I know. So whatever you're staying away from, guys, whatever you're holding back from, like, that's a beautiful journal. It's a beautiful journal, yeah. And God's speaking to me. So what is God giving you? Small things, small things. What is he saying? Like, try it. Maybe you'll like it. Try it. You'll like it. What's that saying, right? So thank you, Jeanette, so much. You're Thank welcome. you. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna do some prayer. Um, Jeanette and I are being stretched here. We're opening up more to walk in the prophetic. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And if any of you feel um, you have a word for somebody on the Facebook uh, that highlights you, write write a word in there, or like just tell me. Um, we want to bless. We want to bless you guys. Like. That's what this is about is speaking life and, and encouragement and hope and what God's speaking. Can you see on your phone? Did you find I'm it in there? See if I could pull up the people on my phone. For some reason, I I'm, go I'm going to share it with you in messenger. In messenger. Um, let me see. Uh, I sent the link to our Facebook live in the Facebook. Okay. And so then you can see who, is on there. Thanks, Desiree. Said enjoying being here. And uh, I can see people's names. Yay! So awesome. Thank you, Father. Oh, I still can't see names, but let me see here. 
Thanks, Kristen. You said you guys are such a blessing, so encouraging. Viola is your friend. I think she said hey earlier, but we were in the middle of talking. Hi, about Viola. Something. <laughs> She's your friend, I think, right? She said, oh, good. I like Thank that. you. Yes, I love Viola. I think she hugged me at church. She's a hugger, right? Isn't she? She's a hugger and yeah. she's a intercessor. I know she's hugged been- for like a long she's time. And let me, yeah. oh yeah, she let me cry. Thank you, Viola. I know you from Imagine. <laughs> oh, I still, can't, I still can't see the names. I'm Did so you go in your go into your Facebook and then click on the video so it opens up so you can see share on there. Now can you see underneath? I see live broadcast. Yes, you click on it, and then it should open up. We're learning technology, people. Oh, man, I wish I was a little more techie. Let's see see here. So do you see my phone? I see us. Yeah, so click on it again so it opens up the comments. Can you see? Um, See, mine looks like this. Oh, see, and I don't see a comment thing. It's just black. Mm. Oh, are you in? Are you in the heart to heart private group? The one I just sent you in your messenger. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, in Jesus' name. Kayla's on here too. Kayla. So- This is totally, is I still can't see. And this is the one you sent me on that. It's still, I don't see any names or anything. I don't see any, ta- like any. Um... Let me call out, let, let me read out the names okay. that I see on it. Okay. Um, there's Stephanie, there's Kim, there's Shantu, there's Audra, Christine. I think I said that one. Well, you maybe. know, right away I'm getting, Stephanie is being highlighted. So. Okay. Okay. So, Abba, Father, thank you for Stephanie. What would you, what would you like to release over Stephanie? You know, one thing I hear is you are a go-getter, Stephanie, a go-getter. And I love your heart. I hear him say, I love your heart. And he gives you permission to go get him, to, to be the <laughs> better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do I know Stephanie or I just want to. <laughs> I don't know if you do. I don't know if I do. Okay. Um, is there anything else you would release over Stephanie, Lord, as we're here, as you've highlighted her? He encourages you to move forward to be all he's created you to be. Um. He says, come to me and I will show you the way. You are my brave one. Mm. Yeah, I just hear you're my brave one. And yeah, he loves that you're a go-getter. I don't know if that resonates with her. She just, yeah. That's my sister. Oh, it's your sister. Yeah. She's in Ontario, but she comes to Calgary a lot. She knows some of the ladies on here too. Uh, she's been out Calgary out here too. So, Lord, I thank you for highlighting more names. I'll just read um, some of the other names on here too: Desiree, um, Abigail, and I believe Ethel was on here, and Roseanne, Arlene, Rachel. Um, Roseanne, I know Roseanne, I love Roseanne. Lord, what do you have for Roseanne? I feel like, yeah, he's highlighting Roseanne. You know, you have such a beautiful heart, Roseanne. He really uses you to touch people. Uh, People just naturally feel blessed uh, to be with you, Roseanne. Like this is, you know, um, I wanna bless you because 
I think you have such a gift in making people feel um, loved and appreciated and just safe. Like uh, you have such a pastoral heart and I bless mm -hmm. you with that, Roseanne. And Father, is there anything else, that, like is there anything that you would like to release over her? I, I hear there's new things for you um, and that you're courageous in him. But I do hear that he has new things for you and you can ask him what that means. And mm. She's a hugger too. She is, yes. She's she helped me here too. She's she like helped me a lot. Mama Roseanne. Yeah, and I just get the step-by-step, day-by-day, I'm with you every day. That's for Roseanne, too. Yeah, right. that God's with her every day in the steps. Awesome. I think Kim was saying that Stephanie also listens well. I think she was adding that in there. If, I, if that's right, Kim. <laughs> and Viola's still on here. I don't she still... Do you want me to read names again, too? Yeah, I do. Okay. So Father, I thank you for highlighting and God, thank you for every woman here and every man that's here. There's very few, but they come on. So um, we have Kim, Shantu, Audra, uh, Christine, um, Stephanie Marie, have the Desiree, um, Abigail. Um, I'm getting Shantu. So, okay. so let's, I'll just, yeah. Um, so Father God, what do you, what are you praying over Shantu? What would you like to speak to her heart? What would you like to say? I hear you are so loved, Shantu, so loved. Mm. And you are a lover. He says you are a lover. And he says, I love what you do for me. I hear him say, I love what you do for me. I love everything that you do for me. He even says, I love what you wear. <laughs> like, it's interesting, but he just loves, yeah, like everything, like, yeah, I feel like he just loves everything about you. Um, and I just feel to release more of his goodness over you, more of his glory over you. So I just release, I release that over you, Sean, too. And that you can release that to others as well. That you would be that, that you are a glory releaser and you're releasing that to others as well. So I'm just praying more. I, I just feel there's more for you. So more for you, more to give out, more to yeah. release. Yeah. So good. You're so brilliant. Hmm. Yeah. We have. Uh, are you still going with that? We're still that? on. Are you still going with Shantu? Uh, Lord, is there anything else? And Stacy, if you have anything too, do you have anything? Yeah, well, we're doing well, but I will jump in. Um, <laughs> there's another lady that came on, Deborah, and there's another Christine. There's two Christines on here: Christine K and Christine P, and Kayla. Christine P. Well, I feel like, well, I just asked for a picture for you, but I just felt like um, if he were to give you something, he would give you hearts, lots of hearts. Um, we're not sure why, so you can ask him. And he loves your heart. Yeah. Mm. 
and not get like I'm not. Yeah, it's kind of quiet. I don't know if you have anything, Stacy, or. I, I was just hearing that God is releasing your voice, not just in singing, but in who you are, Christine. You celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you, Jesus. And we celebrate, we celebrate Christine. We celebrate you. He celebrates you. Yeah. Do everything for Kayla. Kayla. Holy Spirit, what would you speak over Kayla? I just hear the words glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you are a glory releaser. Um, I get the words beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> You're so beautiful to him and to others and to others. Mm. Keep being beautiful. <laughs> I hear my beauty's all over you, Kayla. Wow. wow. She's very artistic as well. Oh, very she's gifted. really artistic? Yeah, so, um, yeah, you're probably a beauty releaser. So I just, he keeps highlighting beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. She's beautiful too. <laughs> and beautiful, yeah. So <laughs> thank you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Does anybody have um does anybody on here really need prayer? Um, need a word for them? They just post in the comments. What are you getting, Jeanette? Oh, nothing right now. Just a minute. Sorry. I'm drawing a big blank right at the moment. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Leave to me. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know Deborah. And I don't even have a word yet, but I felt like God wanted to highlight you, Deborah. And um I believe Deborah means B. The B, right? And there's so many beautiful facets about the bee uh, you know just take the gold ball that it means the bee you know but um there's something more in god has put on your life deborah and he's he's called like a, a bee looks busy they say busy is a bee but a bee is very strategic in in how they they I take the, you know, I don't even know the whole structure of it, but go look it up. Um, how they take the pollen and they carry it, and then you know the the queen bee, um, they protect. And someone told me when the enemy comes that they all swarm bees. They swarm around the enemy and heat it up until it's so hot that they're destroyed, and that they can withstand that heat. It just blew me away me away that uh, there's so much intricacy and in, you know even if you look at the ants you know so Deborah I feel like God wants you to go research a little with God on what he has given you this name and also there's like a change there's a transition there's something that he's been nudging you about and he's making a way and it's almost like it's right in front of your face but you can't see it because it's like uh i'm not sure i want to do this um but god is saying yes yes i've got you on this i'm going to sustain you in this support you in this bring provision in this 
it's a stepping out. It's like the emerging light that God was showing you, but you're stepping out of something that is so familiar for such a long time. And it's like, I'm going to go on an adventure with you, but it's a safe adventure, <laughs> not a, not a scary adventure, um, but a fun adventure that goes with who you are. And, and I see God just holding your hand in this and you're skipping with him. It's funny, but I see you skipping with him and, and just having joy time with him. And you're running down this road, skipping with him. So he's like, yeah, let's go this way. Come, come, and let's dance together. And I've never seen that picture, but he wants to dance with you, Deborah. And I don't know if any of that resonates with you, but there's something about the creativity. It's like a treasure chest. I'm seeing the the big, beautiful old ones, like the, you know, with the curved lid. You know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm sure. And there's something in that treasure chest. Ooh, I'm seeing a wedding gown. Hmm. What does this mean, God? It makes me want to cry. I see you lifting the wedding dress and holding it laid across your arms. And lifting it to Jesus, like I had to lift my sister and release her. So I bless you in whatever you are walking through, Deborah. I've never seen that picture before, and I pray for healing. I pray for comfort for you, and it's beautiful. What God is giving you is so beautiful. What, what you carry and you love relationship, you love love. And there's something pure about the wedding dress. And I pray this means something to you specifically because I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I know that God uses so many different ways to speak. So I, I just speak love of God over you, Deborah. Love of God. And it's you're gulping in life, life, life. Like, you know, when they put that oxygen on, but it's actually giving life, not sucking from bringing life into you. It's like Holy Spirit is bringing life. In, and the wedding dress represents something to do with Holy Spirit and what God has released in your life or anointing. So I didn't plan to go there. I had nothing when I got your name. <laughs> so I celebrate you, Deborah. Celebrate you. Thank you, Roseanne. She has to leave now. She said bless. Bye, Roseanne. Something special on you, Deborah. Hmm. Something very, very special. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Any names? Um, do you need to be reminded of any names? I might. I because I I know can't see, but so we have Audra, Christine K, um, Desiree, uh, Arlene, Abigail, and F was on here, and Viola. Well, I want to say, hi, Ethel. <laughs> um, I love you, Ethel. I know Ethel, she's, yeah, she's walked with me for some time. So I just want to bless her. She was highlighting her because I, I know you. So I love you, Ethel. Um, <laughs> and I encourage you, he encourages you, he's with you. He's with you every step, Ethel. And the joy of the Lord is your strength. His joy. His joy in you. His joy of you. And who you are in him. Beautiful. 
And Desiree, I don't know if you're still on here. Um, of course, you probably heard this before, <laughs> but you are the desire of his heart. And I'm hearing that verse that God, he looks to and fro on the earth for a heart, for a heart for him. And Desiree, God sees your heart. He sees your heart long for him, hungry for him, seeking him, spending time with him. And I'm seeing young women coming around you and you're releasing what you've had in quiet time and alone time. The strength that you carry from all that you've walked through in your story, God is releasing to be heard by young women who are seeking and hungry. I want to know him. I just, I just want to know him. And that's what God's put on you, Desiree. You're the desire of his heart. That's beautiful. And I don't know why I'm getting the word oranges for her, but I'm just getting, I'm getting the word oranges. I'm not sure why you can ask God about the oranges. I know oranges are they they smell really good they're really fresh they're juicy i you can ask him but he's highlighting oranges yeah so wow it's awesome thank you jesus i was looking up through um viola i want to speak a blessing to you if you're still on thank you thank you for the legacy that you carry of love. Thank you for your heart to be a mama and a grandma and the way that you, when I was so low and grieving, you just opened your arms without knowing me and held me. And you had the courage and boldness to do that. I honor you. I honor you in that. And I think God, for women like you that come into a church setting and are not afraid to show love, are not afraid. And your husband's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. <laughs> and you're like, no, I will not let go until God tells me to let go. I felt that in you, and it really, really blessed me. So thank you, Viola, if you're still on oh. here. And I, pray you I want to bless watch Viola it. too. She's really yeah. blessed me too. She was, she met me at a conference, I think in Edmonton and I had my art there and she came and spoke with me and she goes, you know, I know I'm going to see you again. And we went to Emerge, Imagine Church for the first time and I didn't think I would ever see her again, but she was part of Imagine Church and she didn't know that I was going to come to Imagine Church and we started attending Imagine Church. And so it was neat when we saw each other again because she knew she was going to see me again. So um, I love her sensitive spirit and I love um, her mothering heart. And I love that she cares for people. Yeah. And I know she prays for people. She's an intercessor. Um, also, um, I do get the word joy for you, uh, Viola, if she's on too. Mm -hmm. But just um, I do feel like he's highlighting joy. Um, so may his joy well up inside of you and your joy to be with and people love you. Mm, amen. I see uh, Lisa just came on and Linda. Thank you, Jesus. I kind of like what the someone was just saying the symbolism of orange. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really love that because yeah, orange is a symbol of passion and power and praise. And warfare. Orange is a powerful color. It is. Yeah. Yeah, that was Desiree. She was saying that um, makes her tear up. She said, "Thank you. I just bought some oranges, and I like to serve oh. them for breakfast for others." 
Yes. I love that. Okay, because I, I was thinking, I don't know, he's highlighting oranges. It's got to mean something to you. Yeah. <laughs> but orange is a powerful color. It is. It's. I love orange, power of worship and warfare and praise. and It's awesome. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Linda, are you are uh, it's, this is my aunt Linda. Oh, um, yeah. Are you are you still on here? Mm -hmm. I saw her come up. Saw her pop up. Oh, my husband's here. Want to come and say hi? Hi, Robbie. Oh, here's Robbie. Hello, um, Linda. Do you have a word for Linda, honey? Do I have a word yeah. for Linda? Linda. 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 Yeah. What God would you have to say about Linda? Linda is very powerful. She's a good warrior. She's full of love. Mm. Thank you, God, for Linda. Thank you for Linda. Wow. Thank you for Linda. And Linda means beautiful one, gentle and soft. I love it. It's also my mom's name, so it's, <laughs> I have an aunt and a mom named Linda. It's really cool. Thank you, Father. Who else do you have on here? Thank you, Jesus. Bye. Abigail. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail? Um, Abigail, I feel like he's highlighting the word truth. He says you're full of truth. Um, mm -hmm. And to keep releasing his truth. Mm -hmm. uh, he loves that you seek him. And he loves you so much. Yeah. I hear him say you're a glory carrier. Um, that you carry his his glory. Uh -huh. yeah. And I, he's highlighting your eyes i i can't see you or anything but i feel like he says you have the most beautiful eyes in the world i i can't see you but he says that you have the most beautiful eyes in the world there's something about your eyes um yes yeah so they must draw people he's highlighting your eyes and how wow. beautiful they are yeah like they're they just yeah you have beautiful 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 eyes mm. Yes, she does. Wow. Mm. And he so delights in you. I just feel like you are, like, he just so delights in you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Amen. Audra was asking prayer for her son, Josh. Um, yeah, let me just pray for Josh. I think he just graduated, right, Audra? Uh, I think they just celebrated his graduation, which Josh means conqueror. That's a good name. Yes. Yes. So we just lift up Josh. Yeah. Thank you for Josh. God, we, thank, thank you, you for a miracle. A conqueror and that's what yes. it means. And there's such significance and power in our name meanings. It's really our part of our identity and what we carry. So we just honor that um, he's a conqueror for you and for your kingdom and we lift him up um, father we lift josh josh up wow amen we thank you that he carries strength mm. and joy thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you for a mother's heart Thank you for Audra. Thank you for her commitment. 
and her diligence and her walking through all the things she's had to walk through alongside of her son and her husband as well, Dustin. And thank you, God, that my daughter just slipped on the grass as she was coming in. So, like, thank you for almost our my poor girl, white dress. <laughs> You know, it's just, just like when you feel so good, you know, and that's what anyone wants to do. So, Audra, don't give up believing. And, you know, I saw another um, person's little girl. She was seven, and she just wanted healing. And some ladies came and prayed over her, and she was healed. God healed her. And other times it's a process and a waiting and a journey and like I said today, his wife has cancer. And yes, take those prayers for my nephew Joshua as well. Yes, amen. Um, he was saying how this is the fifth time his wife has had cancer over 18 years. And he said, I didn't cry and say, oh, God, like, why are you doing this to me? Uh, he said, him and his wife looked at each other and they said, there's somebody you have to meet at the hospital. And his wife led two dying patients to Jesus. Wow. So God, I thank you for who Joshua has met in the hospital. I, I got Joshua. the words and I know, and I never finished, but I did get the words that he is so held by, like he's so held by God, like God is holding him. Wow. Joshua. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's thank being you. held. Yeah. We thank you father that you can do anything in a second. And so we thank you and praise you and just decree healing in Jesus' name. Yeah, we, and we do. thank you God for understanding of how to walk this out. Give them strength in the uh, the weariness, God, mm -hmm. that they could just rest and be at peace in knowing that you're going to work this all for good in Jesus' name. Yeah, awesome. for good future. For good future. Thank yeah. you for His future, well, we His graduation, and. That he would not be restricted yeah. to step into the plans that you have for him, God. That yes. he would be released into the plans you have for him. Yeah. And I speak that for my nephew Joshua as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, amen. 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 Wow. That time went by fast, Jeanette. It did. <laughs> we will have you back on and have some fun praying for people. <laughs> Oh, that, well, that's stretcher, right? Because I don't normally do that. So, um, you well, know. Well, it's been very comfortable. Yeah. We are so honored and blessed to have you tonight. It's um, an honor to be here. Viola Rowe, thank you so blessed for you both. Lord's been highlighting joy me for the last couple of years with the comfort receiving. Yes, and thank you, Viola. More back to you. May you just be multiplied yeah. with more and more joy yeah. for and all the, the joyous one lives inside of you. So, you know, it's and he likes to have so much fun with us. So yeah, just release that over you. Um, just the joy of the Lord and just that you would have that that joy in you, which is well up inside and in the depths of you. Thank you, Jesus. So we just cover everyone. I know my cousin Lisa popped on here. We pray blessing over yeah. you, Lisa, over your walking through whatever God has put on your heart. I pray, I pray for expansion for you. That's the word I'm hearing. <laughs> well, I don't know what that looks like, but just ex expect the unexpected in a good way, Lisa. Good. You're rising up. You're rising up in the woman that God has created you to be. And your voice is coming out. You're going to speak it up in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm blessing over you. Yeah, we bless. Thank you, Jeanette, for coming and sharing with us tonight. Guys, check out her brushbythespirit.com, uh, Facebook, Brush by the Spirit. And Jeanette, if you'd like to close us out in prayer, that would be beautiful. Thank you. Well, Thank you, guys. I just, God, just I'm so thankful to be here and to be able to share with you all. And I just pray that it was a blessing to you that, you know, what I had to share encouraged you and encouraged your hearts. Um, mm -hmm. I'm thank you. I'm thankful that I get to step out of my comfort zone too. So I pray that you were blessed. Um, and I just release you all um, with the gift of creativity. God, I just ask that you would just ignite ignite mm -hmm. them and just, you're such a limitless God. So I pray your limitlessness over, um, your children over us, God, of who you are and your nature. 
and your bigness, God, to just that we would just know how big you are um, um, in our situations, in our circumstances, um, and just even in creative ways of the limitless of God. And so I just release that over people too, as well. Um, and I just release, yeah, just bless you to be with him, to create with mm -hmm. him. Uh, to have fun with him, to walk with him and to joy and to really enjoy the intimate times with him because there's no better friend than him. No one will love you better than he loves you. And he's just so awesome. So I just bless you with that. Amen. Love you, Jeanette. Thank you. Okay, I'm looking thanks for having me. To yeah. I can't wait till your workshops happen and maybe I will show up. Well, that would be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Or maybe you can come and sing for us. That would be really that cool. Would be that would be good. That's a good thought. Let's do it. Arlene says yes. I'm sure she does. <laughs> she's always, she's always encouraging me to step out, and yeah. I love that about you, Arlene. And Blessings, I guys. That. I love the atmosphere of worship. So I'd have you yeah. at any time. Amen. Me too. So okay, good night, guys, and thanks for going over. But we had fun. Yeah. So bless you on your week. Bless See you guys Tuesday. Yeah. Good night.